Among the hundreds of moons orbiting the planets in our solar system, some of them are even larger than the planet Mercury. Let's explore the 10 largest moons in our solar system and see what makes them unique. Number 10, Oberon. Oberon is a major moon of Uranus, measuring roughly 1,523 kilometers, or 946 miles across. Its heavily cratered, icy surface records countless ancient impacts that provide clues to the early history of our solar system. With frigid surface temperatures around minus 200 degrees Celsius, or minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit, Oberon remains locked in a deep freeze. The moon takes its name from Oberon, the king of the fairies in Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, fitting in with Uranus's tradition of literary names. Number nine, Rhea. Rhea, one of Saturn's fascinating moons, measures about 1,528 kilometers, or 949 miles in diameter. This icy world exhibits a rugged landscape of craters, valleys, and ridges, a clear record of impacts and geological activity. Rhea even possesses an extremely thin atmosphere that contains traces of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Its name is drawn from Rhea, the titan or goddess in Greek mythology, who was the mother of several major deities, blending myth with scientific wonder. The freezing temperatures typical of Saturn's realm are showcased here by its frozen environment. Number eight, Titania. Titania is a significant moon orbiting Uranus with a diameter of roughly 1,578 kilometers or 981 miles. Its surface features a mix of bright and dark terrains crisscrossed by deep canyons and fault lines evidence of past tectonic shifts and collisions. Titania takes its name from the Queen of the Fairies in Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, keeping with the literary naming of Uranian moons. As with other moons around Uranus, its extreme cold has shaped its rugged and pockmarked surface. Number seven, Triton. Triton, the largest moon of Neptune, spans about 2,707 kilometers, or 1,682 miles, and offers a wealth of surprises. As one of the few moons in our solar system showing significant geological activity, Triton hosts nitrogen geysers and relatively smooth, younger terrains that hint at dynamic processes beneath its icy shell. Evidence even points to the possibility of a subsurface ocean under its frozen surface. With its retrograde orbit and average temperatures near minus 235 degrees Celsius or minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit, Triton carries the legacy of its potential capture from the Kuiper Belt by Neptune's gravity. Its name comes from Triton, the Greek god of the sea. Number six, Europa. Europa is one of Jupiter's most captivating moons and measures approximately 3,122 kilometers, or 1,940 miles across. Known best for its smooth, cracked icy surface, Europa hides a vast subsurface ocean that makes it a leading candidate in the search for extraterrestrial life. Although the surface itself is extremely cold by Earth standards, the possibility of a liquid water ocean beneath has captivated scientists for decades. The moon is named after Europa, a Phoenician princess from Greek mythology who was courted by Zeus. Number five, the moon. Our very own moon, which orbits Earth, measures about 3,475 kilometers, or 2,159 miles across. More than just a familiar beacon in our night sky, its landscape, a record of billions of years of impacts, experiences dramatic temperature fluctuations, from scorching sunlight to freezing darkness. While it doesn't naturally harbor liquid water on its surface today, its influence on Earth's tides, culture, and our exploratory spirit is immeasurable. Known in Roman mythology as Luna, 
our moon stands as a consistent reminder of our connection to the cosmos. Number four, Io. Io, one of Jupiter's most extraordinary moons, comes in at around 3,643 kilometers, or 2,264 miles in diameter. It is the most volcanically active body in the solar system, with hundreds of volcanoes continuously reshaping its surface due to intense tidal heating from Jupiter's gravity. These extraordinary geological processes occur amid an environment that is on average extremely cold. Io's name is derived from a figure in Greek mythology known for her turbulent relationship with Zeus, matching the moon's chaotic and energetic nature. Number three, Callisto. Callisto, another of Jupiter's impressive satellites, measures roughly 4,821 kilometers, or 2,996 miles in diameter, and is just a bit smaller than the planet Mercury. With one of the oldest and most heavily cratered surfaces in our solar system, Callisto serves as a time capsule that offers a glimpse into the early solar system. Research also suggests that beneath its ancient icy crust, Callisto may harbor a subsurface ocean. Its name comes from Callisto, a nymph in Greek mythology, associated with Artemis, whose storied past resonates in the moon's scarred features. Callisto is also one of the many lovers of Zeus. Number two, Titan. Titan is Saturn's largest moon measuring 5,150 kilometers, or 3,200 miles across, and is notably larger than the planet Mercury. Titan stands out with its thick nitrogen-rich atmosphere, and it's uniquely known as the only body in our solar system besides Earth to have stable liquids on its surface. Though these bodies of liquid are lakes and rivers composed of methane and ethane rather than water. There is also evidence suggesting the possibility of a hidden subsurface water ocean, adding to the intrigue of this mighty moon. With average surface temperatures around minus 179 degrees Celsius, or minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, Titan serves as an extraordinary natural laboratory for studying planetary processes in an alien environment. Number one, Ganymede. Crowning our countdown is Ganymede the largest moon in the solar system, which orbits Jupiter and spans about 5,262 kilometers, or 3,270 miles across. Not only is Ganymede larger than Mercury, it is also the only moon known to possess its own magnetic field. Its surface is a complex mosaic of ancient cratered highlands covered with grooved, tectonically influenced regions and there is compelling evidence that it may also harbor a subsurface ocean. Ganymede is named after the cupbearer to the gods, chosen by Zeus in Greek mythology, a fitting tribute to its scale and intricate character. Our journey through these 10 largest moons reveals an incredible diversity in size, composition, and history across our solar system. Some moons may hide subsurface oceans beneath their icy exteriors, while Titan uniquely features stable liquid lakes on its surface, a phenomenon only paralleled by Earth. The fact that Titan and Ganymede are even larger than Mercury underscores their colossal presence in space. Although these moons experience extremely cold conditions, these harsh environments don't diminish the intrigue and possibilities they offer. Each of them carries its own set of mysteries, and as we continue to unravel them, we gain deeper insight into both the vast universe around us and our own place within it. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of our solar system's giant moons. I'm glad you could be here. If you enjoyed this video and would like to show your support, feel free to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comments, or pass this adventure along with other curious minds. Your interactions truly help others discover and enjoy these cosmic journeys. I also want to thank this amazing community for the ongoing support. I appreciate you all. If you'd like to join me on more adventures soon, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next one. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.